to the drink with our parents. I can't wait. <laughs> Oh no! Oh. oh! What are all the d you've tried in your life? I like her and I like her and I like her. So let me talk to all of them. What's up, what's my mom? It's your girl, Simone Toy Twins. I'm Maya. And I'm Micah. And today, we are starting this video off sober, but not for long. We have mom and dad back in the video! Yay. It's been so long. I'm Mama Montoya. I'm OG Padre. And we owe y'all this video because we hit 700,000 subscribers. What video are we doing, Micah? We are doing another dreadful truth or drink. You guys already know how this works. We've done one with our sister. We've done one with each other. And we've done one with our brother-in-law. And now, and with our roommate. Oh my gosh, and with our roommate. We don't condone drinking, you guys. <laughs> but this is the long-awaited for, highly anticipated truth or drink with our parents. Yay! I can't wait. I can. I really <laughs> Y'all are asking some crazy questions. Don't for them. ask nothing you don't want to know. Yeah, I feel like you guys also need to understand that there's just things about my parents I don't want to know. I do want to get y'all a drink though. Like, I want y'all to be lit. <laughs> no, I want to throw up. Me and Maya are going to ask mom and dad questions, and they'll be grouped questions. Like, they're not going to be singular, individual questions for them. If they don't want to answer it, they take a shot. That's it. And vice versa, they're supposed to ask us questions too. Yes. But in case none of us have to take shots. We have to start off with taking shots now. Oh. So we asked dad kindly to please pick up one liquor <laughs> from the liquor store. And we sent him a deep eddies one. And instead dad got all of them. Oh, this wasn't all of them. This isn't all of them? <laughs> no. They sent me a list and didn't tell me which one's on the list. They just said, oh, that sounds good. Oh, that sounds good. So I just went ahead and got a few of them. It's not sponsored, wow. by the way. It's not. It could be. be. Shouldn't. <laughs> um, I've gotten very, very, very drunk off of this one right here, and I haven't drank it since. So I'm a little scared. We have lime, regular yes. vodka, lemon, yes. grapefruit, peach, and cranberry. Cranberry. I'll take the regular. Ooh. I'll do it. The regular vodka? Mm. The clear one? <laughs> Ooh. This is 35%. <gasps> Wait, what are we filling this up to? No, we're not filling Half? it up. Yeah. We have mason jar shot glasses, and these are pretty hefty shot glasses, so we're not gonna be filling them up all the way. No, we don't even need half. Look, that's a lot right there. Ooh, I can't open this. No, one. put it back. Yes. Hold on, Micah. Okay. I wanted that one. Which one? Oh, sorry, I'll open it. <laughs> My shot's like full. Let me see. Put it right there. Thank you. <gasps> that's a lot, Maya. Ooh. Y'all can't be getting me drunk. Why are you drinking the regular one, Dad? Because the fruity stuff is gonna get me sick. The fruity oh, stuff is what makes that shit. I love sweet alcohol. Wait, we have chasers. Oh my gosh, really? We have a cherry soda, a cherry coke. Oh, I'll do this one. And Sprite. Which one do you want, Micah? It's not a Sprite. Don't no one Sprite. wants the off brand one. That one's good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is gross. Dad, dude, that's Arriba, abajo, pa centro, parento. Love you. That tastes like cough syrup. Spicy. Oh no. Oh, oh that's so strong. <laughs> that's really Hard bad. Work. Okay, ready? My eyes are already watering. <laughs> we're just gonna jump into it. We're not gonna wait. Like, so, or nothing. what do you wanna talk about, Dad? <laughs> Your question is gonna be to both of us. Yes. Our questions are gonna be directed to both of you guys and vice versa. Oh, mine's lingering. Yeah. Ooh. That's a strong aftertaste. I feel like mom and dad are gonna get mad at the questions I asked them. You guys can't get mad, promise? Nobody gets mad. This is for fun. Dad. Dad. Don't you be, didn't pinky promise don't me. Don't be disrespectful. That's what I was saying. I don't want you to get mad. Like, what kind of questions do you have? I'll just drink. I don't even want to say that. I'll just That's drink. not the whole thing. That's the point. That's the point. Okay, me first. Mm -hmm. Mom and dad, what are all the d you've tried in your life? You want this on YouTube? No, I'm hoping you drink. No? I don't mind. You're going to say all the drugs you've tried? Yeah. Okay. You can't leave out any. So that way they don't think you're crazy. The high school. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh. That's it. That's it. You tried all the hardcore stuff and just skip past all those inner bitty ones. Yeah, I'm done. With <laughs> and that's what we were doing. That's young. That's young, not now. Young and dumb. Yeah. Huh? Like I can't imagine you guys running around at 16, 17, tripping on. Just run in the street. I will never. I have no desire. I have no um, guidance. 
phone when That's I think. That's true. <laughs> I was born in Clovis, so. <laughs> Our marriage is gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> what are all the <laughs> you have tried? <laughs> You can choose to drink. I'll answer for myself. Okay, fine. We'll answer. <laughs> We've done. <laughs> is that because you're? Uh, it's because it's like. <laughs> what? That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Not as exciting. <laughs> We've had. <laughs> uh, just. <laughs> we done. It's legal where we live in Arizona. So I will say though, she tried before me. I held off for a very long time. What if she was gonna drink? No, I answered. I said weed. Oh. I've always. I've just always been. It's. <laughs> It was something that was always around us growing up, like just the people that we all knew and stuff. And I always had a desire to try it just to see how many feel. So I did. I never ever had the desire, but Maya can handle anything. And if she can handle that, I was like, why not give it a try? And then it ended up being the best sleep of my life. So we're not heads, so I'd like to specify that. It's very rare that we chew a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we don't you know, I like to clarify that the girls are not like goody two shoe type of people. Like I know a lot of people see them on the internet, think they are, but they just don't put their business out there. But they're also so, not like running the streets acting crazy. Well, that's why I think they're very open with us because it's like there's no reason to lie to us about anything. So yeah, how are my parents gonna judge me when they've had? Why <laughs> would you? <laughs> That's pretty much the extent of the craziness that happens in our life. Like, everything else you guys see is us. We just don't put that stuff online because there's no point in it. Yeah, we're human. People get shocked when they see us, like, drinking and stuff. Like, we drink with our parents all the time, at home with our friends, our roommates. People are still shocked that we say the cuss words. We're gonna be 24, y'all. Yeah. You, you say the cuss words? I say the, the cuss, cuss words. Word. My mom's still shocked. Just last year when she was with us at a wedding, she was like, are you drunk? Are you drinking? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm 47. <laughs> We're grown. Okay, I have a question. No, it's our turn. We are all dying. We're in a deathly situation, but me and Mike are the ones that are going. Who are you gonna save? You can only save one. You and Mike are dying? Yes. You can only save one twin. I don't save either of you. Try limit. No, you can only save one. She's not so either of you. No, you both go. That's not, you have to pick one. That's the question. I go to save the other one. You see how she's trying to be around with this? Give me a drink, babe, please. You want limit? Um, no. Mm-mm. You want the same one? Yeah, the same one. No, I'll do the same one. That's a Exactly. I might want either one of you to die. Shot so you'd rather have both of us die? Well, we should die together. <laughs> they both live. They both die. They both, <laughs> no, they both die. Oh, they both die. <laughs> you can't figure you want to save. Really? Yeah. But I had a minute longer oh, than you. That's worse than the straight. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. It was worse than the straight. Ball. Have you guys ever heard me and Daddy have Y'all will be throwing up after this, please. I'll feel bad. I felt bad when we did it with Marissa. Oh my gosh, she was hungover the whole next day. We answer all the drug questions and drink all the kids' questions. If me and Mo were divorced, who would y'all live with? Have my own house. No. <laughs> That's not you should answer. It's not an option. We can't split time? No, you pick one of us. The court okay, order, why are y'all divorced? Would you? No, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what is the concept? It doesn't matter. I'm mutual. sure it's something what's, he did. What is it called? Mutual what? Amicable. Differences. I'll do Corporate. the line, please. You wouldn't live with me, Maya? I think I would live with mom. I wouldn't be able to decide. No, she answer dad. dad. I think I would live with mom just because mom does like all the bills, like all the laundry, all the cooking. <laughs> dad does 
cooking too? They're cooking yeah. another day. Obviously, I would like to split my time between both of them, but they said I couldn't. <laughs> Dad said I couldn't, so I picked mom. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't be able to decide because I love both my parents for different reasons, so that's why I'm drinking. I just feel like mom's a bit more flexible growing up compared to dad. That's true. <laughs> but the reason mama does all that stuff because she does it her way. If I were to do it, I'd do it my way and it'd be completely different. Yeah. yeah. The bills would be paid and I'd have like probably just cash in a box somewhere. The house would be empty. I'd have one credit card. The house would be empty. There'd be nothing in the house so it wouldn't feel like homey, you know what I mean? Because dad could live with just his means. No, I don't think he would do that if he knew we were living with him. Everybody would have a car but be like 30 years old. <laughs> Hey, that's cool. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. Well, if like she went to go live with mom, then I'd probably go live with dad. Yeah. yeah. But then y'all yeah. live together. Why did you divorce me? <laughs> did I divorce you? <laughs> What'd you do? do? I kind of answered. Yep. You can't do that. What do you mean? You guys each have a. I mean, you had twins. So, so what if she didn't answer? Yeah. yeah. You'd be crapping my stuff. I'd say, go live with your mom. Hi, I live with mom. I'll take it. Now I wouldn't be able to pick. I think you both live with your mom. I think if we were boys, we'd live with you. Uh, oh no, I like the aftertaste of that one. That was Dang, it's worse the more you drink it. I almost got it. I'm already hot and I just had one, so. Ooh. I have Maybe I'd live with mom because she does all of our management you stuff. You just use like she would Like, would we still get your D1s? <laughs> Yeah. No, because they turn 26 and then they still don't get them. They're not going to live with us. Are we divorcing this year? <laughs> no, this has to be when they're younger. Oh, if we were babies and then we wouldn't get Not babies, same. mom, but like teenagers. 16. Yeah. We wouldn't I get decide. Like you guys would decide that for us. Yeah. yeah. No. That wasn't my scenario. Okay. You guys can't do <laughs> <my scenario. laughs> We're going to bend it. <laughs> Mother and father, what is the craziest drunk story that you have? Drunk story? You go first. Why do I got to go first? The craziest. <laughs> I got drunk in eighth grade and got into a fight out in the woods in England. Eighth grade? Eight. First fight. She didn't even live in England. She had to go back to the States with a black eye. Mom! No, I'm serious. I'm not even joking. I actually had to apologize to her because she was spending the night with all of us because her cousin was our friend. Wait, so you beat up your friend's cousin? I didn't beat her up. But you fought I your friend's black eye. <laughs> To be fair, she had just came to England, just met all of us, and thought it was cute to call us all the B word. Like that, like she kept talking and she kept talking and she kept talking like that, and we warned her, we're like, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, and she kept running her mouth. Yeah. No, we deal with that in our generation now. I don't think it's cute. It's not cute at all. That. What's up? Like, Especially if you don't know us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Oh, um, so. where did you get alcohol when you were eight years old? Eighth grade. What? Eighth grade. Oh, eighth grade. What? <laughs> eighth grade. <laughs> where did you get it? If the high school or kids looked old enough, you didn't have to be 21. I think it was 18, but you could be mm -hmm. to buy alcohol. Somebody with a beard or a mustache or something would just go buy. But they didn't ID them. Mm -mm. That's crazy. Yeah. Then the craziest. I know. I've had a few. There was one crazy one. <laughs> We were drinking at Denham Park in uh, Clovis. We were drinking 40 ounces of Crazy Horse. Crazy, crazy horse. horse? That's what it's called, malt liquor. And we were in high school and it was a bunch of us just been out there just was drinking and then the cops showed up and so everybody just started running. One of my buddies, he was running and it was in the winter. So the trees looked like our trees outside. Like no shrub or nothing, it was just sticks. And he's only like five, what is he, like five, six? Yeah, he's like five, five. Yeah. <laughs> He's a little stocky dude. So we're running and then he just hops in that tree. He's only like a foot off the ground and hugs the tree. <laughs> and he's, he's so drunk. He's like, go bro, just go. I was like, hey. There's no leaves I was like, what are you doing, man? He's like, I'm just going to hide right here. I said, you're not even hidden. <laughs> it's just a branch. It was just funny. I guess you had to be there, but it was funny as hell. So I finally got him off the tree and we laughed. What about the time that you woke up from the back of your pickup bed? I was going to tell that story, but I didn't want to. Oh. So you need a drink, because that's your crazy story. Yeah, that wasn't even you, Jack. No, that was crazy. It was a crazy story. But also, <laughs> no, that, that counts. No, that's just a story. That was his friend. So he his has friend several. Was strong. So this one, um, same guy. <laughs> It was a bunch of us and we went out partying and we was in my car. I ended up getting drunk and so he took me back to his house. Him and all the guys we were with in my car took me back to his house and they went back out in my car and left me there, passed out. Then I woke up in the middle of the night, finally realized where I was at. It was in the winter and it was snowing. All I knew is I had to go home. So I started walking home. You know, I lived with mom and dad, of course. And dad worked for the railroad, so he wasn't home. I was walking home and there was fire trucks and stuff that were coming. I was so drunk. Like I thought they were coming after me and they were really like just going to a house or whatever they were doing. And so I was like hiding and stuff and running in the, and hiding in the ditch. <laughs> yeah. 
And so I finally <clears throat> got to my house and it was so late at night, I finally remembered like my dad's in Berlin at the railroad. He ain't even at home. It's just my mom by herself. And I didn't want to wake her up because I didn't want her to get mad at me because I was drunk. So my cousin's truck was out front. So I was like, well, I'm just going to take a nap in the back of the truck. So I ended up passing out again in the back of the truck while it was snowing. Yeah, and I fell asleep for like a couple of hours. I woke up freezing. I think I even peed myself. And so I was like, I got to go inside. I just got to face it. So I got up and I knocked on the door. I was trying to be real cool, so I put my hand on the door. <laughs> Yeah. And my mom answered the door. She looked at me. She's like, what are you doing? And then she told me my hair was all messed up. There's hay in the back of his <laughs> So I had hay in my hair and my clothes were all messed up and I stunk and stuff. And she goes, what are you doing? So I'm just going to come home. You know, I didn't want to party no more or whatever. And so she just let me sleep it off. The next day my dad came home and realized I didn't have my car. He asked me where my car was at. He called my buddy. Did they pop all your tires? Yeah, they had hit a curb that night and bent two of my rims and popped my tires. What were they doing? Oh they were out partying. They were out partying. Too. Well, I was passed out. They were in my car. I don't know why they was in my car. Oh, hell no. I thought you were going to say you like woke up and your cousin had driven like far or something with you in the back of the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? But you know, I could have died that night. You could have like, had just, Yeah, just fallen asleep and not wake up. Yeah. How old were you? I was still in high school. 17. Y'all had it so easy with that us. Holy crazy. Crazy. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I wouldn't well. even give my friends my car. Yeah, like, no, no, no I know. We, we really do have it easy with you guys. I'm not even going to lie. My dad was off to Berlin working and so it was just mom, you know, and so mom would let me go because she knew how strict my dad was and so whenever he was gone I'd wild out. And That's crazy because when me and him were dating I remember specifically one night that he was like I gotta go home my mom's by herself and he went home at like 11 o'clock at night. Well but every other night without you he was out. Mm -hmm. Whenever I went to prom with prom boy he was with me on a date he said his mom pulled up his phone saying that he had to get home. It was like 8 o'clock at night. His girlfriend was at this house mm -hmm. waiting for him. Mm -hmm. Man jerks. Jerks. All of them. I don't even have a crazy drunk story. The thing about those stories though is like they could be so tragic. Yeah. You froze to death or you got so intoxicated you hit your head on a tree or you busted this girl's head on a tree and she's in a coma. Whatever. You know what I mean? I have a question. Let's hear it. Did you guys hate living with me in LA? Mm -mm. No. Aww. You would. I hated your tree. He's so Every morning we'd wake up to mom making chorizo. Soy chorizo. <laughs> So good. It wasn't by itself. It was with hash browns and onions and jalapeno. It, it was every matter. day. It was every day. <laughs> I was just it, like, huh? it's so good. I'll eat it right now. <laughs> I was like, why are we eating this every day? Partially why we were so miserable out there was because you were miserable out there. I was miserable. Yeah, we, and it wasn't because of you guys, though. It was our situation. Yeah. And then being separated from your dad. Yeah. We separated mom and dad. But also, LA is just not a place for us to live. We mm -hmm. are not LA people. I like that. We'll go visit LA. I don't think we'll ever I could again. visit LA. I like it. You could live there? Yeah, I liked it. Why? You don't even like people. Like Why it. didn't you move with them? Because I was working. I cannot live there. It's too big. It was so stressful though because you guys were doing your online school, manager sucked, we were dealing with all those lies. But from our no, videos and stuff, we were killing No, people. you guys were killing Nobody knew <laughs> like behind the scenes what was going on while we were living out there. It was very stressful. No, we yeah. cried constantly. That was the peak of our channel and everything too. Yeah. That's where I learned to cry in the shower was in LA. You cried in the shower? Every day. I no. cried in the shower. <laughs> I mean, we cried a lot too. <laughs> That's the thing about you two and <clears throat> like Marissa and Jose, they're in England right now and you know, you guys are living by yourself in Phoenix. It's like, if we didn't do that, there's no telling if you guys would even be courageous enough to venture off to do anything. And now y'all just jump on a plane, y'all go to Nashville, you go to Florida, you, go to, you know, you just do it by yourself. I don't think if you did that, going to LA, I don't think you would have had the courage to do that now because you're from such a small town. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah we did a lot of out of our comfort <clears throat> things in LA. Like one time when Micah wasn't there, I went to an acting class. By myself. Remember, I went by myself. Yeah. I can't believe I did but that. I had gone with you prior. No, I know, but I went by myself, and it was an adult class, and I was the youngest one there, and I also don't look like an adult. I was like 18, and I looked like I was 12. And my phone had went off in class. I would have cried thinking about it. And he stopped all the class and goes, "Whose phone was that?" And I was like, "I'm not gonna get no one in trouble." So I was like, "It was mine. Sorry, I have it on silent, but it still vibrates." And he goes, "Go outside right now." So I got up and went outside, and he had his son and another dude record me do push-ups. I would have just left. No, but she also did extra push-ups just to prove a point. Yeah, I did do extra push-ups. <laughs> they were recording me and they're like, you can stop now. I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I think that was the last day too. That was the last time. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the hell? Have you ever stolen anything? Yes. I see everybody has. Not me. You're, You're talking about like you like, stole ever? an accident. Like you intentionally went. And I'm the only one. Then you here. stole. It was an accident, and mom wouldn't take me to stole. take it back. I asked. Did I stole your pen? I had bought.
bought magnets, and I didn't know the pack behind it stuck to it because they're all <laughs> magnets. <laughs> so I checked out and I only paid for one, but I had two packs, and I felt really bad. I asked you to take me back, and you're like, remember that. "Who are you gonna tell them that you stole it? Have y'all ever stolen anything?" Yes. Yes. What did you steal? When I was like in fifth, sixth grade, we used to do that a lot. A lot. Yeah. Do you remember like the lacy gloves or anything? Because of Madonna, I stole a pair of lacy gloves. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> You weren't like shitting yourself? No, I told you I wasn't raised right. <laughs> I blame my mom and dad. Dad, what'd you steal? I worked for a company. I siphoned gas out of the truck. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and I stole their ladder. No, I people! Oh, they, had some good, they had some good tools, so I took their tools. <laughs> you know what takes the siphon gas out? Yes! <laughs> Oh, I made sure I had enough gas to get back to work, and then I put more gas. <laughs> like with the work money? Yeah. That's crazy. That's pretty smart, honestly. You're gonna save someone's gas. I don't Cause know. Cause they wouldn't know. They'd just think that you were running around all day and you used your gas. Working hard. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Statue. The only thing I really wonder is like if you could go back and do it again Would you stay in high school and go to college walk down the stage get your diploma get your two-year degree and four year degree? That's the questions I have. I think I was destined to be a stay-at-home mom So I'm a stay-at-home mom now. You're an entrepreneur. I mean, though. What am I entrepreneuring? What do you right, mean? Business. Your own business. I know but it's just like <laughs> Yes. I don't know. Dad's yeah. saying like if you could do it all over again, would you choose to do what you're doing now or would you stay in school and go to college and have a nine to five? I would do what I'm doing now just because I'm my own boss. I can wake up when I want. I can go somewhere tomorrow if I want. I think that's what you're failing to realize is we're saying you're not pure like how? It's like those are all the things that you just <laughs> missed. <laughs> Whenever you're doing something and you enjoy doing it, it's not work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what everybody wants to achieve, and you're doing it. Oh, no. I beat myself up at the <clears> beginning <throat> of it. Like, how miserable we were in LA. I was like, this wasn't even worth it. It was hard during the time when all of our friends were graduating and doing all the senior stuff. Like, I think it would have been cool to go to college for running. I don't know if we were that good no. to do that. But anyway, like, <laughs> walk with your class. I think my mindset on it changed. I think you told me. You guys get to do all these cool things that nobody else gets to do, mm -hmm. and you're worried about this one thing that everybody gets to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am still blown away at the things that you guys get to do. I think it's really cool. Me too. Yeah, I like it too. I just know like whenever I was in like, 11th grade and we were only there for two days before we left to go into online school to move to LA. And when I got my schedule, it was all the classes I didn't want to take and it was all the people I didn't know in every single class. Like I didn't have one friend in any of my classes. Mm -hmm. And I had eight classes. I was like, how come none of my friends are in any of my classes? And I was like, no, I could not do this. And me and Michael were good at school. We had straight A's and we were at National Honor Society and stuff. But I only did the work that I needed to do to get the good grades. It wasn't because like I wanted to do it. So you wouldn't change anything? No. no. School is not for me. But that's the thing about high school, like Michael said, when you're going through it, you think this is the epitome of like my life right now. People that peak in high school, it's actually kind of pitiful. But then when you grow up and you're like past that, and you finally get out in the real world, you realize what the real world's about, and you find yourself, then you look back at those people, what they're doing, you're like, you ain't really all that. Um, Mamas, the light is making a stripe on me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the social media thing, it's very clicky too when you go to LA. I see it, it's just like high school. I don't tolerate it, and I'm not tolerate people that act like that because you guys are grown now. There's no reason to act like that anymore. Like to be clicky and team up and they don't like this person. It's just ridiculous. Okay, so that leads me to my question. Who is your least? It's not your turn. Is it this? That was Dad's question. That was oh, okay, go ahead. Have you guys ever spent a night in jail? No. Really? Oh, I've been to the police station. Have you find a meal at the police no. station? <laughs> No, I never have. I've been to the police station. I've been to court. I've never spent the night at a police station. I went to the police station and they held me so my dad could pick me up. Ooh. That's scary. No, I wasn't because he's the one that gave me the liquor, so. <laughs> <laughs> So what did you get arrested for? I didn't get arrested. I have been taken to the police station to give a statement about a fight I got into at McDonald's. Dad was there at the end of it. And I have been to court for another fight I got into at the base. <laughs> dad was there for that too. <laughs> so what happened with the McDonald's thing was, dad kept telling, cause this is when me and dad had started dating, was like just to avoid people, like just avoid them, just ignore them, just let it go, just da 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 When I came out of McDonald's, they surrounded me. 
because I couldn't let it go. Yeah, self-defense. But then when the cops showed up, they said I jumped them. I was like, how did I jump them? <laughs> yeah, that's been more than one person <laughs> to jump. Yeah, so that, we ended up having to write a letter to each other, blah, blah, blah. Apologize? That's so fake. You're not even like apologize, just like, we're cool. Just let it go. Because the girl that I had fought, it wasn't even like me and her that should have been fighting. Fine. Yeah. The other one, I had to pay for somebody's glasses. <laughs> and got banned from the base. You got banned, you got banned from, from the base? For four years? <laughs> How is that distinction? From that base. That base. That base. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Her family knew the judge. No, but I've never been arrested. I've never spent the night in jail. <laughs> Who is your least favorite influencer? I have a couple. If we told y'all the people that have done us dirty, y'all would be surprised. Well, I just don't like to taint other people's view of Image, people yeah. without knowing them personally. Because there's a lot of creators that I like that I haven't met that I'm sure people have stories about that aren't good. It's one of my have you been disappointed? Of course. About the people that you watched growing up and have met in person? Yes. Even yeah. I have. We haven't made them drink, babe. I drink one. Wait, there's no way you guys will drink. There's nothing we can ask There's some you guys. things I just don't want to know about my daughter. Yeah, I'm not. No, not like crazy. Ask. And there's stuff like, that I'm not going to ask you because I don't want to put it out. Yeah. Whose question is it? Mom's. I just Asked about the influencer. Yeah, she asked. Oh, it's me? Or you didn't name influencers. Yeah, but it's gonna be bleeped out, so y'all should have to. Oh, we're drink. Drink. Okay. They're gonna have to take the drink because yeah, they're gonna, gonna bleep, have to it, bleep out. it out. <gasps> No, 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 no. No, Dad, that is huge. But babe, don't, drink it. don't drink it all then, but you can't pour it back. It's going to spill. It's my first shot. This is my third. To be fair, I've been filling all mine up more than y'all, so this is like my fifth shot. Just drink it. Look, she's spilled You got water. a flight tomorrow, too. I know. I have terrible hangovers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. My appetite is so bad. What are y'all? <sighs> Name your first loves. First loves? First loves. Joanne. Yeah. They're such liars. Who's the first person you told I love you to? Not parents, not family. Like you were dating and you're like, I Oh, but love that's not even fair because like when you're in those situations, did you really know what love was? Someone you were together with that you said I love you to. You have to name their name. Mm. Me and her almost got kind of <laughs> <laughs> You have to bleep that? Yeah, you have to bleep it. So you gotta take what? a shot. You have to say her name. Hell no, you're not saying her name. You no, don't you're not saying her name. This is third grade. No, you're lying. Oh, I this am is not third lying. Third grade. <laughs> That is not her name. What's her name? That is not her name. <laughs> See, this you're not going to say her name. Third grade does not count. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, that was the same exactly. Never mind. I can tell you the name of my first kiss, and y'all won't even believe that it's his name. His name was Michael Jordan. <laughs> but he was white. <laughs> I'm joking. I made up. <laughs> when her Michael Jordan is for real. I'm not even going to make that up. I'm not even joking. Because you're a liar. Oh, wait. That was Exactly. Oh, I was getting hot because I thought he was talking about somebody else for a second. She started no, with an S. I never told her I loved her. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Am I your first love, Jacob? No. You know, that's kind of fair because you guys got married at 18. You didn't really know when first love step to that point. <laughs> it gets worse. It makes your tongue like shovel up. No, it hurts my throat. That tastes like medicine. I have a question. Is my shirt? <laughs> yeah, it's your intense shirt. Make them drink, Mom. <laughs> Do you? No. That's not, <laughs> that's not even a question you need to do. Just the way it starts. Do you want me and Dad off the business? Hell See, no. No. <laughs> no, because no, it's so bad. Because they keep saying that they want to buy a BMW, they need a race, they keep saying all this stuff. So do you want me and Dad off the payroll? No, are you for real right now? <laughs> That's a terrible answer. Answer it. No, no. I'm going to want to leave y'all out. Do I earn my paycheck? Yes. yes. That was bad, Mom. Who was the last person y'all went on a date with? First and last name. Oh, I don't know if I remember his last name. So you drink. His last name was weird. It was almost like Placenta. I think his last name was Placencia or something. <laughs> <laughs> his name was <laughs> Placencia. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we'll call you <gasps> I'm not drinking. Y'all are bleeping it. I've been on so many Jesus. dates. Jesus. Jesus. Have you ever, ooh, this is a good one. <laughs> have you ever almost had someone else's baby? What? A pregnancy scare? Nope. Have you ever cheated on a significant other? <laughs> what you what? What? Yeah, you <laughs> You've never cheated? No. He has. Don't answer for me. I answer for <laughs> you. You answer for yourself. <laughs> yes, I have. 
Mom, what's a cheater? Oh, he's a cheater. I don't ever cheat on me. No. Nope. Me and What happened? <laughs> <laughs> we were both already seeing other people when me and him first met. Y'all cheated on Yeah, but not on each other. We cheated on those people. With each other. So you don't say? Cheated. Y'all cheated. Y'all cheaters. Cheaters. You should we have to steal. Take a shot. We do drugs. We cheat. <laughs> <laughs> you should have to take a shot. No, you I answered. You were disloyal to your other partners. That is well, me. That's a drink. No. That's honest. Drinking is what made me cheat. But <laughs> cheating got y'all each other. That's my bad. That's terrible. Y'all don't cheat. That's like when they say, don't let your partner keep you from finding your husband. Okay, but listen, you guys were raised completely different than me and Della raised. So you we're guys. raised by cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't taught the same values and morals that you guys have been taught. And we only taught you those things because we don't want you to do the same mistakes that we did. When you're dating, why are you committed? Like, why aren't you like. Because how are you going to decipher where your feelings are going? Then what's engagement? When Being you're engaged, engaged, it's like you're just planning you're committed. committed. You're committed, right? So what's before engagement? Dating. Boyfriend girlfriend. Okay, so dating means I like her and I like her and I like her. So let me talk to all of them. <laughs> Figure out which one I like, which, the, which most? I like no! the most. Before I get engaged. You're not supposed to do and that. And that's the mindset that got me stuck for another year and a half <laughs> with a dude that had all his ex's nudes in his phone. Mm. <laughs> 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 So funny, so much editing. <laughs> okay, we're done here. I have another one you can ask. Who was your last kiss? But that's not fair for you. I haven't kissed anybody. That's true. Who's your last kiss? You already know. I don't we know. know. They don't know. They don't know. The person that I was dating, the last name. date that Government I went name. on. Government name. Drink. <laughs> That was a for real question though? Yeah. <laughs> no, it was for fake. Okay, y'all are done. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do you think Marissa's still gonna be in England by the time we have our like she's, do you think she'll be able to be there for four more years? For our wedding? Can we finish this video or what? Please, <laughs> yes. You're talking too much. You're I love them. them. I know. <laughs> do y'all regret not joining Team 10? That's it for this week's video, guys. We hope you enjoyed. Mom and Dad, did you enjoy? I did. I actually did. On a scale from one to litness, where do you sit? Five. Mom's like an eight right now. Mom's a, a solid eight. You're, You're nine? nine? If mom's a five, I'm a nine. But you've been drinking all day, so. What? <laughs> you had beers today? He was drinking beer. I had to keep beers. Oh my god. <laughs> Your mom's buzz. It's yeah, so buzz. My lips are I'm not. Numb. Yeah, my lips are numb. Yeah. yeah. Their lips are numb, but they're not lit. Yeah. No, I'm on the verge of, like, if I have one more, I will be buzzed. Like, where everything's like, ask me up. one more question. <laughs> This, this week's post notification shout out goes to Relisha Miller 5127. Thank you, Relisha, for liking this video. Commenting tacos down below. Subscribing to YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe to your girl's girl YouTube YouTube's channel yes. and find your girls on IG and Twitch. If you want to post a notification shout out in next week's video, all I have to do is everything. Release Miller 5127 did. You guys are good. <laughs> did you guys learn anything about us? Yeah, you guys are, you guys are bad. terrible. <laughs> I didn't see that. We used to horrible do. people. That was before phones, internet, all Thank that. goodness. Like you had to actually go out and experience stuff. Like now, y'all just got. Phone and figure everything out. I know my kids will be able to see like how I was when I was a teenager and stuff. Be looking out. OG Padre is working on merch. Oh yeah. Oh, not his own merch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Merch. merch designs for the girls. I'm designing some merch for the girls. Thank you, mom Yay. and dad. Thank love you guys. guys. Hugs. Peace and love. Love and peace. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Love you guys. And without further ado, adios amigos. And, and as, as always. always Stay beautiful, my loves. Get it, get it, get it. Ugh. Yay! Okay, now we all have to take a shot of the pee. Of that one. Of the pee? Yep. No yeah. one's gonna drink that, just return it. My god, what is that? Just return it. <gasps> oh, hell no. Now you get to drink it by yourself. Double, you have to put two now, here. my god. Yeah, let me fill it up. My here. Wait, how come you're the one so She has up. to do two now. She gets fill the it peach. Up. Fill it up, my. My god. <laughs> Fill it up. Now she gets to drink by herself. Oh, no, no. What? I just dropped. <gasps> you just said you're not oh, buzzed. No, I'm not. No, no, no. Oh, my God. Oh. She just dropped all the little fries on the floor. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Micah. Micah, how long has that shot been sitting?
sitting there. You guys have been talking for a while, so I don't know. Take it's probably more one. potent now. It's been sitting there for minting. You have to take that full <laughs> one, and then we have to take the peach one. Pour y'all's peach, and we'll take it all together. Don't tell us what to yeah. do. <laughs> She said take another shot and I'll take the shot oh, that I was supposed to take. Notice that. I don't know. You're, You're sitting, sitting next, next to her. her. Wow. Micah, so, are you serious? Micah, oh my get it. Grab it. And she's like, I'm not sober. Yeah, maybe you'd be not sober. Yeah. To wait. She hasn't been taking no shots. Love you guys. Love, Love you guys. You. Cheers. Ooh. I just like beer. I don't like this stuff. That one was smoother than the rest <sighs> of them. Oh, it tastes like peachy I was after. That's like my seventh shot. Good job, guys. Cheerio, loves. Good job.